What's going on, everybody? It is January 13th, Saturday. Gonna take a look at the main slate for Saturday, so I'm not touching any of the early games. We're just doing the uh, <clears throat> the four games that start at 7 or later. Uh, no luck yesterday in the big uh, fan duel single entry that I got into. Finished with like 298 or something along those lines. Um, Murray and Lyles. Well, Murray in particular just wasn't uh, what I was expecting. That Grizzlies... Um, Grizzlies Nuggets game was pretty horrendous, <clears throat> well under the total, uh, well under the expected shots to be taken. Just, you know, it was just a miss. Um, it was a, a play that I thought was pretty strong, ultimately not so strong. Uh, but, you know, that happens. Middle of the pack, I'll take it. On to the next one. Uh, first game up is uh, the Wizards hosting the Brooklyn Nets. Wizards 112.75 implied total, 10-point uh, favorites at home. Should be an interesting one. John Wall. Well, let's start with Beal, I guess. Um, Bradley Beal, 8,700 on FanDuel, 8,100 on DK. I think he's in a very nice spot, um, particularly on DK. You would need Beal to get to forty-three-ish on FanDuel. We're looking for forty mid forties would be ideal across both sites. Been playing really well. I have no reason to suspect that he couldn't keep that going. Um, he's been playing. I don't know what I'm saying. I really don't. I was going to talk about uh, the shooting profile here and how the Nets give up a bunch of mid-range stuff and how that affected them. I think this is a great spot for Beal and Wall. It's just Wall's salary is a little bit prohibitive. Uh, I think Beal is probably a two for me. You do want to be a little cognizant of the potential of a blowout, but I'm fine with it here. John Wall is 10-5 on FanDuel, 9,800 on DK. It's a pretty healthy price tag. Um, you need almost 60 from Wall. He's been playing really well, but I feel like his price is just a little bit ahead of him right now. Uh, it's a three for me. And then, you know, I'm willing to entertain Gortat. That's probably a three. And I, I wouldn't... I don't think that I would touch Otto Porter on FanDuel, but I think on DK, he's he's not in a bad way, but probably still a three. It's the, you know, 112.75, second highest implied total. You're going to want something from Washington, you would think. I'll go to Brooklyn now. Nets 102.75 implied total. Not the best. This slate's not exactly the best. Everybody appears to be healthy on the Nets, so that's not going to help either. No real gains from the style of play. Um, Brooklyn does tend to get to the line at a decent rate. Washington does put people on the line probably a bit more than they would like. Um, so we'll look at Spence, someone like Spencer Dinwiddie, who is 6,500 on FanDuel. 6400 on DK. That's a pretty good price. What is this sorted by? Not minutes, apparently. I, I'm okay with Dinwiddie here. You need 32 on FanDuel. 45 last night. He had 54, you know, a couple nights ago. He had the the big stinker in between those, but you know, he obviously has the capability to get up into the 40s. Um, I wish the total was a little bit higher, but there's not much you can do in that regard. Uh, he's a three for me. Probably a borderline though to two. I wouldn't use Alan Crab. I think that. Um, I think that his salary is a little too high. 
only other guy I'd really touch on would probably be Karis LeVert. And that's uh, mostly going to be DK. It's FanDuel 4, um, DK 3. And it's mostly just because of price. I, I think Rondé Hollis Jefferson is probably a little too expensive here. And there's not a lot else to like on Brooklyn. So now we'll go to the game that should be the most owned. Um, Raptors hosting the Warriors. Raptors are four-point underdogs at home. They have a 110.75 implied total, which would be third. And I have uh, Lowry marked as in for right now. So we're assuming that, uh, well, I'm assuming that both teams are at full strength for tonight. So the first one we'd have would be DeRozan, 9,100 on FanDuel. 8,900 on DK. Man, I think I like DeRozan more than I like Lowry here. I mean, I don't like Lowry at all on FanDuel. That 8,500 price tag is uh, a bit too high coming off of this injury as well. So I'm going to say DeMar continues to look. DeMar DeMarzen. DeMar DeRozan. Um, yeah, I mean, you're looking for 45-plus on FanDuel from DeRozan. Hasn't been there in the two without Lowry, but, you know, 50 in the game before that. He's been in the 50s a couple times. I think this is a game that fits him pretty well. What's his history against Golden State? Hit 50 against Golden State in October. 50 against them last year, a 44-point game. I think this game fits them pretty well. Uh, Lowry is going to be a play only on DK for me. Um, and honestly, it, it might even be a better play than DeRozan. We need f like 45 to get to 6x. He's hit it a couple times recently. Uh, maybe I don't totally trust it at a at a two level. I'm a little bit more confident in DeRozan's performance right now. And then we've got Surge. I'd like to know how he's done in, against Golden State in the past. Not the best. 6,400 on FanDuel, 6,200 on DK. Um, just because of the sort of the matchup and the pace of this game he's a three for me i don't see anybody else that is rosterable on uh on the raptors so we'll go to the warriors now warriors 114.75 implied total numero uno on the slate no surprises there should be a really good game i hope that i hope that lowry is healthy i, I hope that curry is healthy as well um I'd like to see these these teams play at full strength. Okay, Kevin Durant is 10-6 on FanDuel. He's 9-7 on DK. Um, I much prefer Durant on DK. He's in a really good spot. Um, yeah, I like Durant a lot on DK. He's a two for me on DK. Whoop. Bulls, Pistons, Spurs. Yeah, we'll see once we take a look at the Nuggets. Uh, Clay Thompson, 6,600 on FanDuel, 6,500 on DK. He's uh, not somebody I'm looking at. Draymond, though, is... Draymond is uh, 7,800 on FanDuel. He's 7,600 on DK. I actually like this game a lot for Draymond. I'm not sure why. Something's just standing out for me. We would need him to get to 
basically 40 on FanDuel for value. He's had 40 points in four of his last six. Um, I think he plays a little bit better with Curry. I'm actually going to have a little bit of a focus on Draymond tonight. And then Curry is 10-2 on FanDuel, 10,000 on DK. I'd like to know how both of those guys do normally against the Raptors. Curry against the Raptors. Nothing outlandish, just right at value. No complaints there. And Draymond. 40 here, which is right at value. Yeah, nothing just incredibly standing out. That doesn't surprise me. I mean, you know, the Raptors are a good team. It's hard to just go off on them regularly. Um, you know, on a four-game slate, I don't know. I wasn't even remotely close there. On a four-game slate, um, there's nothing that stands out as a major negative outside of just the health of Curry's ankles. But he's not my. He wouldn't be my priority in Golden State. I think Draymond would. Go to the Bulls now. Bulls hosting the Pistons. 103.5 implied total uh, for the Bulls. Pistons are one-point favorites. And the big news in this game is that this will be the debut uh, for the Bulls of Zach Levine. And knowing that, and no, I have him in for 20 minutes right now, knowing that Levine is playing makes me assume I won't like much of anything on the squad. Um... Levine is going to take 20 minutes out of, uh, you know, a backcourt that I don't, like, you know, is priced accordingly. So Chris Dunn is 7,600 on FanDuel. He's 7,300 on DK. Um, I don't hate it, but it's not, there's not two S's in Chris. But I think he's just a three. A lot of these guys just look really similar today. Uh, Justin Holiday, 4,900 on FanDuel, 5,300 on DK. Um, I don't want to take him right now because I just don't know how the Zach Levine thing is going to work out. Um, assuming Miritich plays, he looks really good on DK. He's 6,300 on FanDuel and 5,600 on DK. You're looking to get him to 30 or so. He had been playing pretty well. Let's see. I know he's been out. Multiple 30-point games while he was back. Um, he might actually be one of the better plays if you're confident about his minutes. Yeah, I think he's just, just a straight two for me. I really like Miritich tonight. Yeah, I'm going to avoid Denzel Valentine. Uh, Markinen, I don't know why I skipped over him there, is fine. And I, I obviously don't want Levine tonight, but best of luck to him. We'll go to Detroit now. Pistons, 104.5 implied total would be fifth on the slate. It's a really ugly game. Would have been a really good game in 1988. Not so much now. Okay. Andre Drummond is 9,900 on FanDuel, 9,400 on DK. This doesn't feel like a really good game for him. I'm curious if he's had a good performance against them in the past. I assume they play a lot. No, he has been not good against them lately. Uh, yeah, he's going to be a hard pass for me, especially at that price. Um, the only guy I really want to look at is probably Ish. Ish Smith is 6,500 on FanDuel. He's 5,500 on DraftKings. Um, that's an incredibly low price. He needs... 33 to hit 6x, um, which is definitely a range that he can get to. So I, I'm I'm inclined to say that I would like to have some Ish Smith on DK. I mean, he's probably like a four on FanDuel. 
and then Reggie Bullock, 4,400 and 4,000. You're looking for 24. That's probably a little bit out of his range. Not really a, an incredible matchup for him either. Uh, yeah, that's probably it here. This might be a tough night. I might be sitting this one out. To the Spurs we go. Spurs hosting the Nuggets. Uh, seven point favorites for the Spurs. That's fourth implied total of 105.75. Uh, the assumption is that everybody should be on the court tonight, but we'll see. We'll see who gets rested. Um, but at this current minutes breakdown, oh boy. I guess we can talk about LaMarcus Aldridge. 9,500 on FanDuel. I don't think that I would touch him there. But on DK, I think that he's a reasonable play at 8,700. Um, you know, you're, you're looking for 50 plus out of Aldridge. Not the best game recently, but you know has had a couple for, mid 45s and 50 point games. Um, I'm not interested in Kawhi at that price. I'm not really interested in anything else on here except for maybe. Pau Gasol can be a, uh, a down ballot guy. And then finally we go to Denver. Man, this is just a... This is not a very good late slate. Kind of a bummer. Spurs-Nuggets game should be good. Uh, Nuggets are on my shit list after last night's... I don't know what you want to call that game against the Grizzlies. 98.75 implied total. Dead last um, on the slate, which is kind of scary. I'm assuming Gary Harris plays tonight. If he doesn't, that'll also uh, open up some value for Will Barton. Um, interesting. They do not look... <sighs> Well, I'm going to go back to the well again. Uh, Jamal Murray is 6,500 on FanDuel, 6,100 on DK. Um, you need him to get into the 30s, and I think that he can do that. And uh, Nikola Jokic is the other guy that I would look at here. He is 9,300 on FanDuel, 8,200 on DK. He's a two for me on DK. Look, at that price, you just <clears throat> you don't have much of a choice. Uh, he's a three for me on FanDuel. I would be willing to entertain Wilson Chandler as well. I don't really see anything else that jumps off for me. Um, maybe Will Barton. On, uh, well, yeah, Will Barton's just a four for me. And if he, if Gary Harris ends up out, then it's something to explore bigger. It's a crappily short, short list. It's not a good set of games. Right now, we're looking for injury news. Uh, there's not any value out there. And,. That's a little prohibitive. So let's upload these projections into FanDuel and see what comes out in the optimizer to start. Yeah, w without any, without any news, it's not going to be good. I don't think I'm going to do a live before lock just because of this slate and how wholly unappealing it is. Um, what's the schedule look like for tomorrow? Oh, Keith Jackson died. That sucks. R.I.P. Yeah, uh, four game slate all spread out, so won't be anything interesting tomorrow. Just regular breakdown videos. Okay, so let's look at FanDuel. Nope, that's the whole slate. Don't do it. Don't do it. Eh, it already did it. 
choose slate main there we go that, nope that's not at all what that is <sighs> come on cruncher Now we're dancing. So where do we end up? A lot of Ubre, a lot of Draymond, a lot of John Wall, decent chunk of Dinwiddie and Levert. I think Draymond and Wall would be the first two things I would lock in there. It's probably gonna put Ubre in there a hundred percent. Oh no, it actually brought him down. Chris Dunn, DeMar, let's see how we can get, if I add DeMar to that. Miritich, Rolo, Gortat. You can probably get there with a reasonable lineup on FanDuel. I don't, I don't know how super interested I'm going to be to that. Can't imagine wanting to stack the Brooklyn-Washington game. Let's go to, uh, let's go to DraftKings now. This one will be, I don't know, I'm anxious to see how the puzzle pieces fit together here. There we go. Bump up the randomization. And let's do it. What do we get? Ton of ish, which totally makes sense. Reggie Bullock popping up again, so it might be something I need to dig into a little bit further. But Miritich, Draymond, Jokic, Murray, all that makes sense. If I go Jokic, Murray, ish, can I get Miritich and, Dray and Draymond in there? I assume there's no way. Then you end up with Bullock, Porter, Rondé Hollis, Jefferson, Dinwiddie, Bullock, Markinen. Dinwiddie, Levert, Gortat is something I would entertain. But you need Gortat to get the 30 on DK. That's kind of a tricky spot. Well, DraftKings looks a little bit better than I expected. But all in all, just not a, not a very interesting slate tonight. So that's it for me, guys. Uh, that's a quick one today. Low energy. I was hoping for big things in that uh, FanDuel single entry last night. No luck, but that's DFS for you. We'll keep grinding. Um, like, subscribe, Twitter, Reddit. You guys know the drill now, but um, we'll keep it going. Best of luck tonight. I'll be around. Hit me up on Twitter. Bye.